check out the website, jfresh.co.uk. What's good, people? It's your boy, Jay Fresh, right here. I'm here with the Snapchat king. If you don't know how to operate Snapchat, speak to my guy, Coles. <laughs> yeah, dog. What's, what's, hap- what's happening, brother? I I mean, I didn't know what to do with Snapchat, and thankfully you came in here. Wow, you know, you know how it is, man. You get me? Snapchat is the way of life right now. Mm-hmm. It's not just that application mm. way of life so of living press that thing wait 10 seconds yeah and then register what you're trying to do that, they're the key things to remember <laughs> those are the things to remember. yeah definitely and what kind of stuff should we be snapchatting like back backstage bits or uh, you can snapchat anything really yeah. like i see a, a whole load of snapchat mm. i see people's lives what they do you know mm. it's a bit more personal in it like see what people do at home you know but more time people are just ranting on it like just saying oh yeah. but last week i met someone you know what i mean just ranting and talking about yeah. their lives and stuff but mm. it's pretty fun though it's yeah. just entertaining i mean I, I know a guy who can operate two cameras and three phones doing snapchat <laughs> at the same time so like there's some tired people out there there you that go there's people, <laughs> there's people there's competition out there still <laughs> now listen brother i mean you're looking you're looking fresh to death out here i'm loving the wow, clothes man. i'm loving i'm loving the hat you can't get away from the attire wow wow yeah i got a few of my hats here with yeah. me still <laughs> so, uh, are, they, are, they, are these on sale for the public yeah yeah they got the um they're on sale at the moment but mm-hmm. obviously i'm they're gonna go on my website officially but right now i'm doing like um just if people want to purchase a hat i can mm-hmm. personally go and meet you and just give it to okay. you or send it to you package it up yeah. and send it to you manually until my website is you know officially up and running yeah so, so the the hand deliver of the cap does that only go to the hot spices? Oh uh, no, I can go to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but the hot spices get discount. Oh, okay, discount, and they get a special Ladies, treatment. Discount, oh. but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it, really. But so, anyone yeah. can have it, though. Exactly, it's wicked, man. Now, um, I believe yeah. you are very close to finishing your first project. We don't know if it's an EP. We don't know if it's an album or mixtape. Mm-hmm. Talk to me about that. Yeah, basically, my first project uh, is entitled uh, "Fortunately for Us." Uh, mm-hmm. And, you know, it's technically some mixtape because of um, the some vibes that are original that are not original in terms of production, but the beats that are familiar, um, people know. But mm-hmm. I did like my own vibes on it. And there's some that I've taken a seg- uh, particular part of their version that I liked. And then I just added my own. Basically, everything is a touch of coals. Like every song on the tape has a you know a feel of what I can bring to, mm-hmm. the, to the table. And yeah, there's going to be nine songs. Um, to like interlude not even interlude voice notes because i voice note quite a lot Mm -hmm. so i'm thinking you know what instead of putting interludes now i'm gonna be the guy that just puts voice notes in why not no matter what yeah man get me even when i when it comes to the stage where i'm doing an album that's what i'm gonna do still Mm. so yeah fortunately for us uh, that's that's the name of it for now um the cover uh, official artworks are currently being you know done now someone's making it for me right now and yeah the dates should be revealed very soon like when i'm releasing it and that etc so that's my next question i always push for the dates <laughs> and that's the reaction i, I get they that. laugh at me and go fresh well sometime over the summer sometime this year i can't really let you know right now no, i need no. to speak to my man are it's you gonna are that. you gonna it's be not that, that shaky it's not that shaky basically <laughs> it's coming out before summer like before, before summer okay. my, it might i might drop it on my birthday my, my birthday is made the 30th okay so it might officially come out on my birthday with a video mm. like boom yeah. the video to say look this is my project and this is the you know like i say say an artist will drop in an album they will drop a single and then mm-hmm. you get me so like that so man maybe we can tie that into your birthday bash basically yeah yeah well, all yeah. in one one package boom yeah. i'm i'm looking forward to that yeah man I'm you're definitely you, man. there you're you're, you're there, there. Yeah, <laughs> you're already there before you're there Head of your time. Exactly, mate, exactly. <laughs> now, uh, there's some crazy stuff happening in the game right now, at the moment, mm. musically. Um, Kanye West, mm-hmm. Glastonbury. Wow. Okay. Big announcement and a big reaction. What's your personal take on that? Wow. Um, well, obviously, we, you know, everyone knows about Kanye, man. Kanye is a, is a brilliant artist, a brilliant performer. He definitely brings that, you know, that energy when he's mm. on stage. And he's definitely outspoken, <laughs> which is something that, you know, that's what we want to see when it comes to, you know, an artist. And he's headlining and, you know what I mean? So we need someone with a big personality to do that. I personally, you know, I'm, I, I listen to his stuff. So I, I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with him headlining. He's, he's great, man. No, oh, great to hear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same mindset. Like I was interviewed he's recently great. and people asked me about Kanye and I said I thought he'd always be a fascinating person to interview because of what he's about and I think sometimes some of his passion in his work is mm-hmm. perhaps a bit misplaced or yeah, misunderstood. Yeah, exactly. Because people don't get it because people mm-hmm. think there's an interview he'd done recently and... um uh, he was getting quite frustrated and um, I think the, the general consensus was like yeah but you're Kanye so if you're at the meeting with those top business people they're going to listen because you are who you are exactly. he's like no they see me as the rapper with the money 
they do not see me as, as their def- equal. Def- yeah, 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 we're talking about fashion yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can see some of that. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you can see some of the frustration, so frustration. there. So I think him performing. I think we've had Jigger doing it. I think you know what? It's a great level. It's a great platform. As soon as it's it's UK hip hop artists <laughs> headlining Glastonbury, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, then 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 I'm excited. Then it's super then excited. A new thing, yeah. But I feel like that's that's gonna come, man. UK artists are dope, man. So they mm. just keep to you know keep doing what they're doing. But that's definitely coming. Like the it's changing thing. There's gonna be a shift in the music industry. Like I feel like the music industry right now is in a fluid place. You get me? Mm. If it was like it's there for the taking and anyone that wants to come and uh, show the world their vision mm. what you know what they think should the direction of the music should go it's your time to do it man 2015 man and talking about uh having having a vision mm-hmm. cole's vision <laughs> with the new music on the way where, yeah. where exactly you know how are you describing your kind of work your kind of sound where where you people don't like to pigeonhole themselves but, mm-hmm. but where, where do you see yourself in that situation yeah i think with cole's you know it's one of them ones where it, what you see is what you get i feel like my music in terms of uh genre is more obviously more hip, more hip hop r&b with afro beat mm-hmm. sort of um, influences to it because i'm african um i'm from congo i was born in congo so yeah it's like my music when you when you get time to listen to it it's like african influences um but i also do hip hop and r&b really well because that's what i started doing mm-hmm. before i found myself in, in you know in an afro afro beat african orientated um sort of lane so mm. yeah I f- that's how I describe my music best describe mm. it it's, got, it's, it's, it's on top of it all it's experimental because I do like to experiment you know what I mean and support it for artists that you show growth through their music so I mean this is one thing that I want to pick up on the experimentation I mean mm-hmm. I mean you know recording records in French yeah and, and, and doing things you know a bit differently different out there we know that the uh, France has a, has, a, has a big rap scene mm-hmm. so that's exciting for me wow. to see to see <laughs> a guy coming up in the game new material on the way and really pushing things and thinking this is what you know I'm going to do things a bit differently yeah of course and it's not even like a thing where I'm just doing it and differently because okay you know it's about doing things differently but it's because it's part of me like obviously Mm. like i said i was born in congo um uh, french speaking country so french you know i know how to speak french at home my parents speak french to me you know the ones there obviously my french is a bit broken because of english yeah (laughs) no shade yeah (laughs) no shade at all (laughs) but uh, yeah but still like you know what i mean i I can do that like and obviously the africanness is already in me it's not like i need i'm forcing to bring it out it's just there naturally in it and i just hope people vibes with it man well that's it international music it's a natural sound it's a natural uh, a mixture of the flavor <laughs> exactly. we're excited for that right. man really Thank excited it's a about blessing that. man <laughs> <laughs> now what's the uh what's the next step for the fashion line wow um uh, you know what yeah this is it's, it's crazy you ask because i i'm really into my clothes like, people that know me i like um you know good clothes like any you know good swagger or whatever you call it but swagger obviously people know what swagger swagger is it's not necessarily the clothes you wear it's how you wear it in and i feel like i wear my things a certain way like you know what i mean so um, um, what, what's important when you're when you're you know putting yourself together and if you're walking down the road in that certain way personally i just think it's it's the confidence behind the person like it's it's the feeling you gotta feel yourself you get me because there's only one you in it if you so don't feel yourself who else is, who going else is to? gonna feel exactly you? you get me who else is gonna feel you apart now obviously people will feel you like if you went to you know get a massage someone will literally feel you but apart from that that doesn't happen every day you gotta feel yourself so i think with clothing is just a thing where you know feel yourself man you get me go out there you know when you're wearing your clothes feel like yes these are my clothes i paid money to i deserve to wear these yeah. clothes and i'm gonna rock so them gonna properly walk out, you get me and do your thing man like mm. you, there's nothing wrong in that and that's how i feel about swagger and fashion or whatever you want to call it yeah so we, we got other bits coming on top of the head yeah we've got a head obviously as you can see Coles, I've got a variety of, of hats here. Uh, are, they, are they different names, different lines? How, uh, how does it work here? It's all, basically, it's all made by one guy called Modu Designs. Uh, big up Modu Designs. He makes, he takes care of my, my you know, my merchandise and my clothes and that. The niceness. So, yeah, he designed this. Um, he made me this one. Um, as you can see, camouflage. I got a blue one as well, and I'm getting a pink one very soon. Um, he also customised um, the hat, you know, put the coals on it. This one's a suede one. Um, and yeah, as you can see a few here. This is uh, one with actually my actual uh, logo on it. Um, and, yeah. your, and your face. My actual face. So yeah. this, is, this is the one that sells out 
globally. The, this is the one that they can't get their hands off. You know what I mean? When they grab this one, they'll rip it up. So I need to make loads. So <laughs> 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 this is the one that, yeah, this is just my face. And yeah, I've got a few here. I've got a leopard sort of thing. Um, actually, no, that's not a leopard. What are we talking about? That's a, yeah, that is a leopard. Actually. Yeah, um, yeah, I got um, <laughs> I got like a pink one, flowery one, and another camouflage one, but with the coals in a smaller like front mm. right in and yeah man you know what I'm, I'm 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 feeling to give you one one of my hats as a gift man what do you think which one which one is touching that i feel like you should have firstly i'm glad you didn't pick up the flowery one <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> i knew you'll be offended if i picked no, up no. the flowery one <laughs> but summertime's coming though man this you is know. gonna be popular you know this is what you get me i feel i feel like this is gonna summer get me Everyone's gonna jump on that, but yeah, this one I feel like you should have. I think we'll one. go for the the black one, the classic. The black classic. Go with, go with the that's black. That's where it all started, man. Yeah, yeah. Get me. That's all good, man. <laughs> so uh, looking ahead towards 2015, we're about to hit those summer months. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the flowery bucket hat is essential. Uh, festival wise, show wise, what other bits and pieces can we look forward to over the summer months, man? Wow. Uh, well, 2015 in the summer, obviously, uh, my tapes coming out. Uh, fortunately for us uh, you could catch me i got a few shows coming up as well Wicked, um, man. you could catch me on the 26th of March uh, in Lewisham um, Fox and Firkin mm-hmm. um, yeah I'm performing there for an event called Who's Next All right. um, alongside some um, sick artists man and my close friends um, and my close um, people that I work with art uh, in terms of music RJ um, and um Kalise, you're gonna catch them there at, on the 26th, and you can also catch me uh, in Camden um, on the 12th of April. I'm mm-hmm. performing there as well uh, at an event called uh, Love for Lyrics. Um, and I also, ap- apart from like my own stuff, my original stuff that I work on, I also I'm also part of a band. A this is where band. I was gonna <laughs> lead into it. This is where we flip the ah, game. The guy, <laughs> I don't need no questions. Yeah, nah, Let the guy roll on. <laughs> this is where we flip. Yeah, the thing a we bit. know what we're doing, fam. <laughs> Um, so there's your individual work yeah. and your collective work as well exactly I got individual my individual work obviously calls my collective work can be uh, uh, ranges from like stuff that I do with RJ like I mm. mentioned him before but he's very I work with him very closely and we've got some um, songs out on YouTube and that London Girls and From Time we've done together um, and yeah and obviously part of the band a function band called uh, Earth Lights Boogie Band uh, we've done quite a lot of shows I've done shows um in France with them, done a few shows in Manchester, done mm-hmm. you know shows in London, weddings, festivals. So and um, mentioning festival, I got a, I'm performing with the Earth Lights Boogie Band mm-hmm. at Allsford Festival this year. So, um, that should be around June times. Just waiting for confirmation. Wicked man. But that should be around um, June times, and looking forward to that man. But and I'm also gonna be going to Spain this year. I think I I could be going out there to shoot a music video for another song from the tape so mm-hmm. I, might, I might give them a video here and go out there shoot a video and i'm also looking to have a sneaky visit to france get me okay for like a is, is this work related or is this, uh, uh, this Galdem everything related? is music related Galdem, okay. obviously Galdem. yeah me Galdem i have you in the world but you know this is a bit of it's a bit of both but i'm i'm about my music <laughs> so read between I'm, the lines read yeah the, read between that, the lines read that what you will <laughs> there you go but yeah it's a bit yeah it's gonna, i'm gonna go there and try and you know um shoot something out there and um you know talk to a few venues out there and stuff and see um how i can you know get a platform out there and just perform yeah, really i mean it's great it's great to hear the the, the bits and pieces you're coming out output wise mm-hmm. it's great to see the shows and obviously different different areas yeah different countries as well which is what we like to see like to see that progression that wow. movement yeah. and for you when you know if you're performing individually and then performing with the band mm-hmm. for you do you do you just do your thing and it's the same or is it a different kind of you have to approach it differently wow that's a very good question man uh why not performing with the band it's a bit more you know how can i can explain this it's so it's there's a, there's a the difference saying it's not a big difference it's a little difference mm. it's just with a band I've got the like you know I've got Spencer the lead singer obviously he he's the one that and I got to see her there singing you know what I mean there's there's like a support of I know they've got me in case I I miss a word or but that that doesn't happen <laughs> I for one that doesn't happen <laughs> that just, doesn't you, happen you're, you're, you're just playing it nice yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> playing it nice but nah, <laughs> it's nah, it's just great performing with a band I just think it's sick man uh, that you know they they fun to work with and fun mm. to perform with man and as soon as i get on that stage it's like i'm someone else man you know mm. what i mean it's like 
the real me proper comes out you get me like obviously i'm relaxed but you know i'm not on stage i'm like the opposite do you know what i mean and when i'm performing by myself at like um my other events that i do mm. it's sort of it's slightly different only because i ain't got a big band behind a big like production yeah, band. yeah 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 well, obviously i've got a intimate band but i feel like it feels more it's better what i perform by myself with the, the intimate band because it's obviously my material and it's it's more like this is me in it this it, is it what sits I nicely put, you get me mm. And in terms of stage presence and performance, Coles, everywhere Coles performs, you're going to get the same energy of performance, mm. the same stage presence. And that's a guarantee. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, so, so that's what I can assure you. That's the same mm. in between the differences. Well, listen, man, it's been, it's been great to catch up finally. It's been and sick, man. Um, First time I met you, man. Wow. It's, it's jokes, man. It's, it's good fun. It's, it's crazy, good. crazy, man. I mean, anyone who comes and starts giving me clothing, like in, instantly friends for life. There I can't you go. Lie. Boom. Boom, bang. Done. Instant. And we got the new. We're looking forward to the record at the end of May. Yeah, and of course that I'm birthday bash, man. Gas for it, gas for it, go, wait. man. I'm, I'm going to keep you updated. I'm mm. informing you on that. But definitely, man. That fortunately for us, it's coming um, before summer. Probably on my birthday. Most likely on my birthday. Ninety nine percent on my birthday. So yeah, fortunately for us, it's going to come summertime. And nine tracks is going to be on there. Um, just my own vibes on other people's beats. My own remakes. Just my own vibe, really. And then. After this is out and I get out and I, you know, get people listen to it and stuff, then I'm going to start working on like my own original material from the T, you get me from, I've already started working on original material now, but you know, I'm not going to drop it now. I just want people to get to know me first with this. And I feel like that's why mixtapes are really popular Mm. because people get to know the artists. Exactly. And there you go, man. We're looking forward to it, fam. Boom. (laughs) Yeah, dog. Can you, can you say yeah, dog? Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. There you go. Oh, you can say yeah, dog, like this, or you can sing it. Yeah, dog, yeah. That's a different way of saying it, but you know that that one's for the girl, isn't it? That's if I, you know. Or you sing it like this. Okay, that like that. Yeah, that's another. You got, you know, you got, you got variety. You got choice. You never want to hear me singing. Trust me. <laughs> why? Why not? I'm sure you got that. You, don't, don't he look like Mr. Hudson? <laughs> what do you think, Shiva? He does, isn't it? <laughs> Madness. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. It's a, it was a pleasure, man. Pleasure, man. Sick. Check out the website, jfresh.co.uk.